You know, I, I, th I think more than anything is my understanding of this trip, my understanding of our fans better. Um, I'm still learning. Uh, my, my, my understanding of the Big Ten, um, everything. It's just, it's just year two. Right. Um, so I'm more comfortable in my role. I'm, um, I'm gaining a better understanding of, of what's important to all of our fans and all of our alumni and, and the Big Ten and, and all these different things. I'm just, I'm learning and growing every single day. Um, and I think the other thing which these guys would probably say is, I'm willing to drop my guard a little bit because I'm starting to build relationships with people. Um, I think you always have to be careful because that's a mistake. You let your guard drop too much and then that's when you, if something goes viral and you end up making a mistake. No. But, but I, I think they would probably speak on that as much as anything. I think the first year people were trying to really kind of figure me out. Um, I think from what we took over, um, I, I feel really good based on all the things that we talked about. Um, you know, just the obvious things that, that you guys already know and everybody knows, the lack of scholarships, the lack of depth. Um, the, the amount of turnover that there's been in leadership, not just in the head coach position, but in the AD position and in the president's position, um, all the turmoil that we've been through, um, all those things play a role. All those things play a role. So considering all those things, I think, to be honest with you, um, and I've mentioned this already, that I feel like a lot of times when the sanctions have been lifted and all these things, everybody just feels like it's over. Um, and that's not the case. Um, from a competitive standpoint, um, not even close. But I'm going to have the same probably feeling and conversation with you after we win 10, 11, 12, 15 games. Because there's always going to be a certain play that haunts you. There's always going to be a certain game that haunts you. Um, a certain situation that you don't feel like you played the way you're capable of playing. Um, so that'll always be the case. You know, just, that's just my personality. I'll never be satisfied. Um, but um, to me, you can't really have one conversation without the other. I think, yeah, yeah those things have to coexist in the way you view them. Um, um, just because our situation is so unique. And I think that's the, probably the other thing I would say is there's not really a model that you can research or study or talk to people about about this situation. Um, you know, it's the first time ever really. You know, there's other, I guess, examples that are similar from a different perspective, but um, that makes it that makes it challenging as well because you know we all say you you just study your past so you don't repeat it but there's no there's nothing to really study you know we're we're, we're forging through this as a first time.